Yeah. In this video, I will explain how to parameterize the source and target connections in mapping in Informatica Cloud. For that, let me create a simple mapping. Go to New, click on Mapping, select the mapping, create it. Provide a name. Um, Click on source, go to source, click on connection. So first time we will uh, use the table names, then second name onwards we will parameter those. EMP, select EMP, okay. Click on target, go to target, select the flood file target, select the object, create it during runtime. I will make it as tg underscore and csp. <coughs> Okay, mapping has been created. Let's create the mapping task. Okay, I'm just select the runtime environment. Click on next. On finish. So we have created the mapping and uh, the mapping task. Now let's create the task flow. Provide a name TF Dungeon. Say it uh, drag and drop the uh, data task inside data task. Uh, click on the task and uh, browse the mapping task. Select it, copy it, go to general, uh, rename it. Our task flow has been created. Publish it. Now run the task flow. Go to my jobs. You can see the task flow is running. There is one update. Okay, the task flow has uh, completed. Click on view of task. Click on mapping. As you can see 15 records have been loaded to the file. Let's go to the target folder. This is my target folder. As you can see, the job ran now. It's 1034. So at 1034, the file has been generated. So this is done. Now let's go to the mapping. The source and target connections were hard coded. Now we will parameterize those. Go to the mapping. Go to param parameters panel. Create two parameters here. P A R A M source aura type equal to connection connection type is oracle as it's oracle 
and select this allow parameter to be overwritten. So if you select that during runtime, it will be overwritten. Now create another parameter. Param pgt flat file. Uh, type we will be connection and the connection type will be flat file. Select this. Click on OK. Save it. Go to source. Click on source. Previously we have selected this connection. Instead of that, now select the parameter param source or this time only we are parameterizing the connection. So I have selected this. Go to target. As you can see, FA bonus target has been selected. Now I will select this param TGT flat fly. Click on save. So our mapping is done. Let's go to the mapping task. This is the mapping task. Edit. As you can see, previously the source and targets were not there. Now, as you have a parameterize, so these options are coming. Here, you have to mention the connection, connection aura. Go to next. And target. You have to provide the flat file target connection. Then uh, go to this parameter file location section. Here I can download the sample or template. Empty underscore dungeon. Go to the folder. Refresh it. Copy the param file, paste into the param folder. Go to data integration. So, mapping task has been updated. Click finish. Now, go to the param file. Double click on it. As you can see, as we already defined these source and target parameters, now we have to provide the uh, exact connection name. Go to admin. As you can see, Oracle connection name is uh, connection Ora Scott. I provide that here inside the param file connection Ora Scott. And I will copy the target flat file connection name provide here. So as you can see in the default section, default uh, default is the uh, project folder, then uh, empty dungeon is the task. Inside that I am using this. Now go to data integration. Click on task flow. Click on the data task. Go to input fields. Maximize it in input fields. Click on this plus symbol. Here you have to select uh, task properties parameter. We have to provide the param file directory and param file name. So this one is for param file directory. Click the plus symbol again and uh, select param file name. In this case, uh, here that option is there. You need to update it, edit, and provide the param file path. Let's copy the param file path.
Now we have to copy the param file name. Right click properties. So this is the param file name. And uh, as you can see, the extension is dot param. Click on edit. Provide the param file name. Then dot param. Now save the task flow. Let's go and see in the target. Uh, we already created one target. Let's remove this. And uh, save the parameter file. Now we'll run the task flow. Yes, the task flow is running. Task flow has completed. Now the time is 10.42 a.m. Let's go to the target folder. As you can see, here the file has been created now. In this way, we can um, parameterize the source and target connections. If you want to change the directory or to change the target directory, then uh, you need to create another connection and uh, provide the same connection here. Uh, let's do that. Uh, let's go to this folder, create another uh, target. Target test. Create another connection in admin. Uh, create new connection. So this time, not file target test. Provide flat file. Select the runtime environment. Provide the directory. The code page. Let's select PTF. Let the test. Test the connection, it was successful. Now save. Okay, so uh, this time I want the file to be generated in target underscore test. The new path, whatever we have created, this time uh, the file should be generated here. So, what we need to do? Copy the connection name. Paste it here. Previously, it was a FF underscore target. Now, FF underscore target underscore test. So, this is the connection, and this connection is pointing to target underscore test folder. It is empty. Now, uh, let's go to the mapping. Uh, let's go to the task flow. Run the task flow. The task flow is running now. Task flow is succeeded. So this time we are. Uh, Pointing the target to another location. Let's go to the new directory. As you can see, uh, this time as we parameterized and provided a new connection, 
with a different path. So the file has been uh, generated in that uh, new path. So you can see we, the file got generated at 1044. In this, in this case, we did not do any change in the code. Simply we added uh, the new parameter value in the parameter file. So in this way, um, uh, one can update uh, the parameters. Similarly, if you have any different connection also, you can just change the connection here. Thank you.